Right, this is HMP, or was, HMP of the Fort Borstal. And here's the lions to the entrance. As you can see, pretty nice these lions. This is where I was in 1976. Uh, I came here as a Borstal, he served six months to two years and uh, I can say it weren't really a bad Borstal once you got used to it. Can I just take this opportunity to ask you to like, share and subscribe this video. Uh, I'm asking now because I always forget to do it on end uh, video. So let's start here, coming down, coming off the main road, down the drive, and this here, wherever Fort Borstal, where I served in 1976, my second whack. Uh, I'm, I'm going straight to my second whack of Borstal, uh, because uh, there's a few things relevant to what I want to say about this parcel. We're on this sentence. The sentence of six months to two years was well, because it varied from whichever parcel he went to. This parcel was ten months from gate. You could serve four months before you got here in strange ways and harmly. Uh, uh, you went to Atfield, which is where they sent me first. That was six months from sentence. So by the time you got there, you'd nearly finished. You had a matter of weeks. As I've said before, just over the wall where I'm showing you now, just over there, is where hospital wing would be. This fresh looking building here, on end at wall is uh, the old gatehouse, as you can see. I'll get to that in just a moment. The car coming up. Uh, I did 16 months here. Uh, when, like I say, all in 16 months. On this whack, I served in carpenters. Caps one first, and then I will put onto an outside party. Uh, no, I'm getting two sen the two barcel sensors mixed up here. That uh, farm bit was on my first whack. On this whack, I wore uh, house hardly, and I wore house hardly. Because uh, I was one of the oldest in here on that second whack. This is the gatehouse, as I've said. And as you went through the gatehouse uh, to the to the to the left to the to the left of the gatehouse. As soon as you went through the gates, what reception? To the right. No, to the left was the uh, visiting room. To the right was the reception. Smack in front of that, going straight over that way, was the building for the Borstal, which was in a big H. At the top end, which was up that end, over there, were two wings which was David's and Patrick's. Patrick's was induction wing. David's is the wing I served on, on that sentence in 1976, as a tea boy, more or less. I had to make tea foot screws and clean the pool table every day. Uh, then it was connected with a big corridor 
down to the other two wings were, which were at the bottom of the jail, this end of the jail. Uh, and that was George's and Patrick's. No, Patrick's and Andrew's. Andrew's was the younger Barstool boys wing. On all other wings, lads were older and had to do go to work in workshops. As I've said, there were carps one, carps two, a laundry, a stores which was over it, over there in that corner, behind the visit room, sort of, and that were the stores where everything coming in the prison and going out was stored. There were also a machine shop where they used to make clothing and jeans and shirts and things like that. Uh, on ends of the wings, so by bottom end at wall, right up past the wings, was a big exercise yard. There were one up that end and one up that end, where they used to play yard football, have your art on parade and things like that. Smack in front, on the central corridor, as I've told you, which were called the M1, because it was that big, went from one end of jail to other, connecting all wings. Smack in front of gate house here, going straight forward to that, towards the M1 sort of thing, the connecting M1, was the uh, gym, administration, and the classes, where they used to have night classes and things like that. Uh, now, when I was in this parcel, my housemaster was a Mr. Mac. This is funny, this, this was before I even heard of McDonald's. There were actually two Macs. There were Mr. Mac, who were my Thai officer, he was the younger one. And Big Mac, who was the older one. Now, Big Mac was Mr. Mac's father. When I got sentenced to Barstow, girlfriend had had enough of me, and we had a, a son, about Michael Ian, we called him. Michael Ian Taylor. He was about 10 months old. Whilst I was serving in here, I got notification off my housemaster telling me that my son was being adopted. I told him that wasn't happening. So they got probation in to tell me it was happening and there was nothing I could do to stop it. One night after tea, Big Mac, and he was big, called Big Mac because he was about six foot six, built like an house end. Came into my cell and asked me if I'd mind if a screw adopted my son. I told him nobody was adopting him. He then told me the same as probation had told me. There was nothing I could do to stop it. I asked where he was being put. They won't even tell me that. Uh, so, never seen him since. Uh, they won't tell me where he was or anything. So, going back to uh, my first whack of Arsenal, I walked, I worked on this Barstel's dairy farm which is down here which is the way I'm going. Also down here were all screws houses, the screws estate. Over in far corner, the back corner of the Barstel was the block. 1976, whilst I, I were on that parcel sentence, the kitchen lads had to go down and prepare the suppers and then they had to clean up after. Six of them went down to prepare 
supas. Uh, whilst they were down there, a couple of lads were cutting through bars, while others were still preparing suppers and taking it up onto wings. Uh, actually, yeah, that, uh, they took suppers up, and then after that, they all escaped through kitchen window, got into Carp's One workshop where all the long pieces of timber were kept and got up onto the roof and placed it from the roof onto the top of the wall. They all shimmied along top of the tape beam then and so all sat on the wall like pigeons. Once they were all six were on top of the wall, they dragged the timber over and dropped it down the other side of the wall and dropped down onto it, slid to the ground and all ran off. One of these lads were called Bobo Bice. He were from Hull. Another one was a coloured lad called Hansel Ramsey. I believe he were from either Sheffield or Leeds, I can't remember which. Hansel was a pretty good lad, really. As you can see, as I've said before, I even came round the corner. All the screws' houses are down here, as you can see now. Uh, this borstal you used to have to fold your kit up to a specific size, lay it out all on your bed in a specific manner. Your bedding had to be all folded exactly the same size and it had to be placed blanket, sheet, blanket, sheet, counterpane on the top. This, the building, the triangular building you can see just over the wall there, that'll have been part of the old stores. And as you can see, it carries on that way and over in that far corner over there is where the block was. Next to the block, going up, up the Borstal, were all workshops. Were all workshops, as I've said before, that lady were looking at me, all highly suspiciously. Now I'm going to carry on walking down this way and through estate, because I want to see if there's out of the old uh, farm, which I doubt. Also on down on this estate, there's a massive manor house. We also have to walk down here twice a day to go milk the cows. As you can see, all stores, buildings, the edge of store at the wall. Uh, I'll be doing part two of this video on new prison next door which is actually part of this barstool now it's no longer a barstool in fact if I just get to this corner here I'll be able to tell if there's old t t uh, old dairy left down here so I have to walk down here around this corner where this no not where he's going. <laughs> Round this way to the right. Uh, they're all looking at me, highly suspicious. They'll all be shouting, there's a man walking about with a camera. Quick, phone the police. But I need to see if this old dairy, I'll be able to tell not looking like it was before so I very much doubt it uh, but I should be able to see old man and house from round here as well uh, I'm sorry you'll just have to bear with me I can't pause my video because I'm doing it off my phone uh, just up here Round this bend at top is where old farm used to be and the big manor house. 
Here's a bloke here now loading his golf kit up. Probably a screw off duty. Uh, I think I might even cross over the road here. But this is where the look they're talking about me now. I'm not going to film them. If Manor House is still here, uh, excuse me, mate. Excuse me. Excuse me, mate. Oh, he's pretending he can't hear me. Excuse me. Uh, is there a big Manor House around here? Big what, sorry? Like a big manor house. A big abandoned one. Yeah. yeah. Smack opposite Old Borstal Dairy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah? I worked on that dairy. Yeah, nice. I'm just doing a documentary on it now. Yeah, nice. Have you got out to say about brutality in prisons and Borstals? Not really. I, I want to rush, we've got golf. I want no, pal. You want no? no? I bet you're an officer. No, I'm not, no. You're not? How come you're living on? How, how come you're living on old prison estate then? Just rents it. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, private owners now. Not everyone's involved with prison. All right. Cheers. Cheers for your help, mate. No worries, Thanks a lot. Uh, excuse me, mate. Do you remember out about old Barstow? No. 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 No, Before you, my time. you know, just right corner here by that big manor house. Yeah. It's abandoned now, they've just told me. Yeah. Across from that, what old dairy for Borstal. Yeah, don't know. Well, cheers, well, cheers for bothering to answer me, mate. Yeah. Look it up on YouTube later. Right. Arthur Taylor. And as we go round this corner, I should be able to see what's what. But as I said, there is the old manor house, which is opposite the old dairy. Yes, there it is. The old manor house. What a building. What a shame to abandon it. Excuse me, love. I've just been told this old manor house here is now abandoned. Is that right? That this manor house here, the big manor house there, is now abandoned. Is that true? Oh yeah, well Old Borstal Dairy used to be smack opposite that. Pardon? Yeah mate, I'm allowed to film in anywhere in a public place. Section 33, section 33. Yeah, well. Alright mate, I'm sorry you're being a bit like that. No need for it, mate. Section 33, paragraph 20, Criminal Justice Act, says I can film anything, anybody, anybody in a public place. Bye. Now, he's obviously a screw. And as I've said, we're going down this way. Uh, might go that way back up there and see where that leads to. It's a shame about this manor house. They're saying it's all collapsing in on itself. And uh, it's just a shame that such a nice building to be just abandoned. I wonder how they'd feel if squatters moved in it. It's not illegal. 
Uh, I'm sure there's at least one room to be able to live in. Uh, it'd be better use, wouldn't it, than just abandoning it. And as you can see, this is the old manor house. Wow, what a building. What a place. All turrets and everything on it. It's pretty much how I remember it, but it was in a lot better condition than this. It even belongs to prison now. Oh, I can't go back round that way, but it looks. Oh, I don't know, gates open. Gates open. Private. Yeah, this is it. This is the old manor house. Yeah, right, and this is where we used to go around. I'm going to have a walk around anyway. Gates open so it's publicly accessible. It's now part, this place, it's like I say, I think it's a shame. HMP Humber. I can't get any farther than here. Because this is clearly a no entry area. But I'm going to get a copy. This, uh, oh, I can still see where old. Oh, I'm still there. It's now part of HMP Humber, as you can see. And here, we're on the back wall of the prison. The farm you can see, directly in front, over there, was the old Borstal Dairy. Where they had to come and milk the cows, twice a day. A right job it was, I loved it. Just where the end of that building is, where you can see the, two, the barn, that what cow shed. The next building this way, this way, from the barn, what staff room, and the breeze block wall you can see between them, we had uh, seats there where we could sit out on us breaks. And, uh, you know, do the thing Barcel boys did. Well, I think this is about as far as I can get and I've filmed this lovely place so I'll just remind you once again please like, share and subscribe as uh, it will help my channel I'm going to go next door and do what the, all this place has changed into HMP Umber thank you